Welcome back. Well, one of the main issues at the summit is whether or not to keep Gulf currencies pegged to the dollar. That's ahead of a planned move by the six countries to have a common currency in just three years' time. Saudi Arabia has already said it will resist any push from the United Arab Emirates towards currency reform. The UAE and other Gulf countries reliant on foreign labor say the dollar's weakening value is causing problems at home. Last month, foreign construction workers in Dubai walked off the job. But some countries haven't waited to see what their neighbors will do. Kuwait unpegged its currency from the dollar back in May. And that's a move Iran previously called for. Well, joining us again, our guests at the summit venue in Doha, Dr. Abdullah al Shaji, Professor of International Relations at Kuwait University. In Washington, D.C., Phyllis Bennis, Fellow at the Institute of Policy Studies. And joining us now on the line from the Saudi capital, Riyadh, Dr. Isan Bulika, an expert on Gulf economies. Dr. Bulika in Riyadh, let me start with you. Uh, the Arab Monetary Fund has been urging the GCC uh, to drop the dollar peg. How controversial is this? Well, uh, uh, as far as the... Uh GCC government, they are still uh, firm, by in general, of course, uh, they are, by and large, they are uh, firm in keeping the, uh, the uh, dollar as their uh, favorite uh, uh, currencies for various reasons. Uh, certain people, it seems to me, that they are pushing in, in the region, including the Iranians and other forces, uh, against the dollar for a uh, number of reasons. could be political as far as uh, certain countries are concerned, and it could be motivated by the arbitrage in the case of, say, Saudi Riyadh for uh, other uh, uh, foreign currency uh, traders. Um, analysts say the US dollar has dropped something like 40% since 2004. I mean, should GCC countries do something collectively or should it be left up to individual states? Well, theoretically speaking, they need to do something collectively, but uh, practically uh, the six GCC states do have uh, six distinct uh, monetary policies and uh, that will also include the uh, foreign exchange as, uh, as, as well. Uh, so uh, we have to take that uh, uh, in consideration uh, as well. OK, let me bring in uh, Phyllis Bennis in Washington. I mean, would extricating themselves from a weak dollar be seen as a hostile move by the GCC against the US, given that Washington has strong allies in the Gulf region? I think right now it would be. I think that there is a, a sense in, among policy people in Washington, people in power, that the GCC owes Washington something. Uh, the, the fear that the petrodollar of so many years could turn into a petro-euro, for instance, uh, is an ongoing fear in Washington. And there, there is some sense that the fear that Iraq under Saddam Hussein may have been considering a, uh, a shift to a euro-based economy for its uh, oil exports rather than a dollar-based was thought to be one of many reasons that the U.S. actually went ahead with its invasion of Iraq in 2003. I think that there is a sense that the, the Gulf states, uh, Saudi Arabia in particular, who have just been offered $20 billion worth of new weapon sales from the United States, that somehow they owe Washington something and that that would include uh, pegging their currencies to the dollar, keeping the dollar stronger. Uh, Dr. Abdullah al Shaji uh, in Doha, I mean, Kuwait uh, is important to you. I mean, it's a big ally of the U.S. And, of course, it's always thankful uh, for liberating it from the Iraqis during the first Gulf War in 1991. Yet it was the first GCC country to unpeg from the dollar. I mean, that's pretty ironic, isn't it? It is. I mean, it was a gutsy move by Kuwait. And I think uh, the GCC summit is not going to... We're not going to... Uh, read in the final communique depegging the dollar as a collective policy, fiscal policy by the GCC states uh, collectively. I think uh, countries in the region are going to do it uh, individually on an individual basis and they are getting around it by revaluating their national currencies by increasing its value vis-a-vis -vis the dollar. Like now the one uh, dollar in Dubai instead of being sold for 3.67 or 76 uh, dirham is now being three is sold for 3.3 so that is causing as as you stated the expatriates to feel the pinch that their money uh, their dirhams and their dollar is not getting the value that uh, it used to be i think there is a gratitude and appreciation for the united states but also there is self-interest that has also to motivate these countries we cannot sustain 40 percent drop in three years for the currency that we sell our oil uh, uh, by using it i think the united states have to understand that w there is a national interest at stake here and these countries are entitled to do what they what they think is right okay.
Okay, let to, me... uh, to help their, their national interest. Okay, let me get a final thought uh, from Phyllis Bennis in Washington before we go. I mean, the worsening US dollar is obviously putting pressure on Gulf oil revenues and economies generally, uh, as Abdul Al-Shaiji just says. I mean, what are the options the GCC states have, do you think? Well, I think the question is whether they are going to act on their self-interest as independent countries or whether they are going to act as sycophants of the United States. So far, they have been dependent on the United States. Uh, the move by Kuwait is, as we just heard, a gutsy move. We'll see whether the others follow it, but I think that the question of dependency uh, has not helped, the, certainly, the peoples of those states. It may have helped the elites, it may have helped the governments to be in this close, dependent relationship with the United States uh, authorities, but it certainly has not done very much for the people who live there. Dr. Shaiji, the GCC set itself a deadline of 2010 for monetary union. That timetable is now looking a bit unrealistic. Briefly. Exactly. I don't think 2010 is, any, is a realistic goal. I think it's going to be pushed back maybe 2015. Uh, Kuwait is depegging the dollar. The, uh, the Omanis have, uh, have opted to, to pull out from the joint uh, uh, common currency. I think it's, it's going to be delayed uh, a couple of years even more because of uh, what's going on now among the GCC states regarding how to uh, re, uh, refocus uh, their fiscal policy regarding the dollar and regarding other okay. issues of even we have not agreed on the name of the common currency, real, dirham or dinar. Okay, Dr. Abdullah al Shaji in Doha, Phyllis Bennis in Washington and Dr. Isan Bulika in Riyadh. Thank you very much indeed for joining us and thank you so much for joining us here on this edition of Inside Story. We of course welcome your comments and your suggestions. Please email them to us at insidestory at aljazeera.net. From the whole team here, goodbye for now.